Hello everybody. Something a little different this week. A little bit of spindle turning. Something that I rarely do. And I've never done one of these before. And you already know by the title of this video that this is a wand. Or a scepter. Or both. But that's a chunk of purple heart. And the tool I'm choosing to use is the oval skew. And I chose this particular tool because of a conversation I had with a fellow wood turner this week. A very talented gentleman named Roger. Roger, it was good talking to you. Good getting to know you a little bit. But during that conversation, I was just reminded that, uh, well, I need a little bit of practice with my skew. So, here we go. And let me say right off the bat that uh, a roughing gouge would have been the wiser choice to get this thing around. But that's okay. It worked. For those of you that enjoy the sounds of dental tools, you're welcome. So as you can see, I've turned all the purple off of this purple heart. Looking kind of brown. Not to worry though. I'm going to use a little bit of magic later in the video to bring that purple right back. Well, let's take a look at what some of you have been making out there. Ross Thomas made this set. Just gorgeous. 
and Justin made these bowls. That right there is Purple Heart as well. It's tough to work with. Nick, the Flaming Turner, made these. This is some great work. Nick has a YouTube channel. The card's up there in the corner. If you want to check out how he made those. I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm sanding this up to 500 grit before I work my magic on this wand. And now that the purple's back, I re-sand it at 500 grits. And here I'm taking a piece of pine and burnishing the entire piece. Watch how it shines. Just solid pressure gets you that. And once the burnish is done, I'm using Axe Abrasive Paste. followed by their polish. So it's safe to use for the young lady that's going to receive this wand. Her name's Emma, and Emma is pretty special. Something else interesting about Purple Heart is that it's going to turn more and more purple over time as the oils inside the wood come to the surface. That's what reacted to the flame. And this is just a 20-sided die that I did my own resin casting on. Drilled into the one corner, and here I'm using 5-minute epoxy to secure it to the end of the wand, or scepter. Well, let me know what you think. I can't believe I've never made one of these before. I enjoyed it. I might have to do more. But Emma gets the first one. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless and Semper Fi.